Hello, welcome to our Wednesday webinar. Today you're going to see how we plan a wardrobe with specific positioning like this and we will go step by step through it and when you have any questions just let me know in the chat. Yeah, we see also how we make the division and interior. So first of all, we activate the smart clicks and the dimensions, and then we click on file and start a new project. So our width of the room is 3000 millimeter, and the cabinet has the same width, and the height is 2200. So we are going here on the cabinet tab and on the beginning we are setting here the trim on top. Here the trim on the left and on the right side. Like you see, the cabinet is automatically getting smaller. That's automatically adjusting and you see here it's subtracting from the dimension between the sides. All right, when we have done this, we are going to the division tab and here we start with one vertical, which is dividing our cabinet in the left and right side and then we have on both sides uh, horizontal and the uh, height of the horizontal is 250 millimeter. So then we add one more vertical and the relation is one two two to each other so we click on here on a smart click for this area and here we change the width of this area and type in number two and you see they are now related in relation one two two and the same we are doing here I just type in number two so then we are continuing with the next horizontal here and this height is 150 mil and here as well tape in 150 and confirming it with enter so now the last vertical yeah, they are now related in relation one to one to each other and here we drag and drop the last horizontal in it yeah and when we click here on the button on the smart click for this area here we can change the height now you see here the window is opening and we type in 150 and we are doing the same here for the right side and then we are done with the bottom part and now we are continuing with the top part now they all get here a horizontal we are just dragging and dropping it here So you see here, it's, you need to be careful that you um, click on the right smart click. Yeah? Because you see here, we have here the whole area, which you see now purple colored, the left top one, the left one, and here also the left one on the top. 
and we want to change here the height to 250. Yeah, you see it here as well. We have three smart clicks. That is, you see the areas purple colored, and we need to choose here the right one. And then we change the height to 250. Yeah, here you see we only have three. It's a bit easier. Yeah, here you need to be careful. We have here more areas that you pick the right one. Now you see it, uh, you can double check it because when you're on the smart click, you see the area purple colored. So, here again, type in 250, and last but not least, it's 250. All right, yeah, then. We also have done this and now we can go here to the interior tab and here we can add the close lift. And for the other ones, we have here four adjustable shelves. And for the middle ones, we only have one adjustable shelf. And then we have here one on top, one Cloth rail on top with a distance to top of 100. Now we just drag it and drop it in here. And what we want to do is we want to have this on the same level like this. That's why we need to measure here the distance from this edge to this. And it's a distance of 235.6. So now we click, click on here. And here we can change the height and we type in 656. I forgot the equal sign before, equal 656 minus 235.6. Yeah, and then it's on the same level. So when you, um, when you are deciding to have here one more shelf, now you can also go here in this area and you can yeah in this case you need to delete it and you need to uh, change it to five yeah when uh, only in a case when you have um, horizontals, yeah, then you can add them, but uh, not in here. So, and here we can change it again. Yeah, we measuring the gap is 100, 1.0666, and so on. Yeah, you can click here again. And 
you start with the equal sign, you leave the number minus one zero so one point zero six six six, and here we are again on the same level. Yeah, you can you also click on it and copy this and here just paste it and we have it for this side and here we add we delete this and we drag and drop five shelves in here so that is also now fitting and then we are we are done now with the middle uh, with the interior and the vision and last but not least we want to have the fronts on here and therefore we go to the front and we are starting here with a left door and here we want to also have a left door and here we want to have a left door yeah you see you need to pick um you need to drag it and drop it uh, here on this divider otherwise you only pick this area when we delete it and you drag it and drop it over here it's going through the whole area so and now we are picking the right doors And then we are dragging and dropping it on here. So last but not least, we need to have here the draws. Yeah, and therefore you just drag it in here and here. And here. All right. Yeah, now we are done. We can now deactivate the uh, Smart clicks. I accidentally tipped on the wrong button, so it's here. And yeah, um, one thing is uh, we can change here the handles to a knob, and we can also go to the material tab and we can change here also the materials for all parts of the group yeah and then you can also choose your different one and if you want because for the trims on the side and top they have an offset of two like you see here if you want you can also use the automatic function flush to front yeah and then um, it's on the same level as the front and now we are done you can also present it to your customer with a room, I forgot to 
change here the size of the room. Yeah, and you can also click here on material and change here also the wall. So here I make the mistake, but we will fix it in a minute. So type in here 18. So. Here we are. Yeah, and then we deactivate here also the measurements and you can also click on here and draw it with open or visible fronts. All right, and when you are Done, you can click here on data export to get the cutting list. Here you see also um, how many square meter you need of which panel. Yeah, and also how much panels you need round about. Yeah, and here you have the whole cutting list which you can save here via um, CSV file. All right, now we are done. Thank you for your attention and have fun planning with Truncat. See you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.